After God brought his people into the promised land, the Israelites turned away from him and did much evil. So God allowed them to be captured by the Philistines, who treated them badly for 40 years. In those days, there was a man named Manoah. Manoah and his wife were unable to have children. However, one day, an angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah's wife and said, You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and his hair will never be cut, for he will be dedicated to God as a Nazarite, and he will begin to rescue Israel from the Philistines. Everything happened as the angel said. When her son was born, she named him Samson, and the Lord blessed him as he grew up. Samson became known for his incredible strength. On several occasions, he destroyed many Philistines. However, he also had a selfish spirit and a bad temper. Sometime later, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, Get Samson to tell you what makes him so strong and what his weakness is. Then each of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me what makes you so strong and what it would take to tie you up securely. Samson replied, If I were tied up with seven new bowstrings, then I would become as weak as anyone else. So the Philistine rulers brought Delilah seven new bowstrings, and she tied Samson up with them. Then she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson broke the bowstrings easily and freed himself, so the secret of his strength was not discovered. Afterward, Delilah said to him, You've been telling me lies. Now please tell me how you can be tied up securely. Samson told Delilah to tie him with brand new ropes that had never been used. So Delilah took new ropes and tied him up with them. And again, Delilah cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But again, Samson broke the ropes from his arms as if they were thread. Delilah pouted, How can you tell me I love you when you don't share your secrets with me? And she pestered him day after day until he was sick of it. Finally, Samson shared his secret with her. My hair has never been cut, he said, for I was dedicated to God as a Nazarite from birth. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me. Delilah realized he had told her the truth, so she sent for the Philistine rulers. Come back one more time, for he finally has told me his secret. So the Philistine rulers returned. Delilah lulled him to sleep and then called to a man to shave off his hair. Then she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. When Samson woke up, he thought, I will do as before and shake myself free. But he didn't realize that the Lord had left him. The Philistines captured him and took him to prison where they bound him with bronze chains. But before long, his hair began to grow back. The Philistines had a huge feast in their temple where they worshiped their false god. They demanded, bring out Samson so he can perform for us. Samson went to the center pillars that held up the temple. Then he prayed to the Lord, remember me, O God, and give me strength just one more time. Then Samson pushed against the center pillars and the temple came crashing down. Even though Samson had made many mistakes in his life, God still used him to rescue his people from the Philistines.